everyone, I'm Vidi and welcome to another video from my home studio. Today we do a short flow, we stay low to the ground as we move into a few gate pose variations. So most of our practice we will have our knees on the ground. So if your knees are a little sensitive to heart surfaces, make sure to grab a blanket or a pillow. And if sitting on your knees or putting weight on your knees is not an option for you, grab a chair. And if you have one, grab a chair without armrest. So you can bring one leg out to the side at a time and you can still really enjoy this flow from there. So grab whatever you need and let's get started. We'll start in the seated position on your knees. Now, if sitting on your knees is sensitive or this doesn't feel so nice, there's a small change that you can make. You can either use a yoga block or a, a folded blanket or pillow. Put it between your ankles to rest your buttocks and your sitting bones on. And that usually takes the pressure off the knees quite a bit. Do whatever you need to do to make yourself comfortable. We won't be here long. We'll just take a few breaths here. Soften the shoulders. Keep the length in your spine. And if you can, close your eyes for just a moment. Maybe finding a gentle and soft smile to help the face soften. And then inhale in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the mouth, out of the nose. One more cycle, in through the nose, out of the mouth, in through the mouth, out of the nose. Breathe in and out through your nose. And notice the shift that almost always happens when you bring your attention to your breath. Taking one full deep inhale here. Take your time. Gently sigh everything out. <sighs> Open your eyes if you want, and we'll move on to hands and knees. On hands and knees, really placing the hands directly underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips. It's a little space between them. If this is not an option for your wrists, remember you can always come onto your fists. And you can also alter between one and the other. Make sure that you put Equal pressure on both hands, both knees, and both feet. You can come to the top of your feet or curl the toes in. I'm going to leave that up to you, whichever you prefer. Really taking a moment to situate yourself fully. Don't forget you can bring a blanket underneath your knees. And then bring all your attention to your tailbone, the pelvic bone. Just notice where it is and then... The movement starts there. As you start inhaling, tilt the pelvic bone. Tailbone comes up as we move slowly into our cow's pose. Follow the curve of your spine as it slowly opens into cow pose. Shoulder blades crawl together. Chin lifts as much as is comfortable. And then send the attention all the way back to the tailbone. Use your next exhale to slowly change direction. Little by little, vertebrae by vertebrae, we start rounding the spine, allow the head to become heavy. And then move from one pose to the other. Always bringing your awareness back to the movement in the spine. Maybe even visualizing it. Close your eyes and just imagine how the spine moves up and down. Also noticing how the spine feels today. The next time you come to cat, stay there for one full cycle of breath, inhaling deeply. Exhaling everything out. 
and then come into that straight spine always making sure that you give your neck a break as well so you can always look up for a moment if you need to but then gaze down right between your hands onto your yoga mat if you need to shake the hands or the wrist out feel free to do so and then we're going to Curl the right toes in, slide the foot all the way back, really pushing that heel all the way to the back of your mat. Taking a nice deep inhale here, use your hands to push even more. Exhaling, shifting the weight slightly forward as the foot goes behind the other foot to the left side of your mat. Look over your shoulder into the direction of that outstretched leg. Feel the compression on the left side of your body. Inhale deeply into the right side. Exhaling everything out. Foot comes back. First straight back. Rest here. And then start sliding it out in the opposite direction. And we'll plant the foot. And I'm going to come move in the opposite direction so it's easier to see. So the right foot is all the way stretched out. Planting that foot firmly on the ground, taking a moment here to fully activate the belly muscles. Gently pull your belly button in as you round up, coming all the way up to find that length in your spine again. Take a moment here to notice how it feels. Soften the shoulders, maybe shake the wrists out if needed. And then really focus on the contact that you make with your yoga mat. So that foot is pushing actively down. We create length here, and that little bit of activation helps you keep your balance. Now, if this doesn't feel balanced for you, maybe grab a chair nearby so you can rest your hands on it. It always helps. Even if you just gently touch it with your fingertip, it does something. So we'll stay here for one breath. Imagine lengthening just a little bit more. Exhaling. Imagine all the way down the back alongside your spine. You're grounding, grounding into the ground. Hands come forward and all the way up. We create length first, inhaling deeply. Exhaling, that right hand goes to that outstretched leg, and the left hand reaches up just a little bit higher as we slowly find that stretch up and over, keeping softness in your face. Also, make sure that you have space between your arm and your head. Sometimes we tend to do this, but that's not comfortable. And then just focus on the shoulder blade for a moment. Allow the shoulder blade to slide away from your head in the direction of your hips a little bit more. Taking a nice deep breath in, maybe reach a little bit farther. Exhaling. We'll bring both hands all the way up towards the ceiling, and then we'll slowly make our way to the other side. The left hand goes down, comes directly underneath your shoulder as the right hand reaches up. You look in the direction that is most comfortable for your neck. So... Some people look down. Sometimes it helps if you want to balance yourself out. Make sure that you keep activating in your belly. I like to look straight forward because it's the most neutral position for the neck. If you want to look up, you can. That is a little bit more challenging balance-wise as well. And then just for a moment, focus on your belly. Really activating all the muscles there, that light tension here. Now you stay here. This is option one. Or if it feels right, you keep that foot flexed and you lift it up. Taking a nice breath in here, reaching with the arm up. Exhaling, bringing that foot back down. <sighs> Beautiful. We'll come up, bring our hands shoulder height. Inhaling. Exhaling, coming over to the other side. <sighs> Stay here for one breath. Inhale, maybe lift your ribcage up towards the ceiling for just a moment. Exhaling, softening in the face. Inhale, come back up, hands stretched out. Exhaling one more time, hand goes down onto the ground, other hand reaches up. Either stay here or on your next inhale, lift the foot up, taking a nice deep breath in. Exhaling, foot comes down, inhaling, come back up. Take a nice deep breath in here as the hands go all the way up. Exhaling, planting the hands on the ground and then slowly sliding the foot back at first. Let me move sideways back at first and then bringing it back underneath the hip gently shift the hips from left to right and then come back into neutral where both hands are grounding both feet are equally 
putting pressure on the ground, activating the muscles in your belly. And then just breathe deeply. Notice if you can feel a difference between the right side of the body and the left. Gently sigh everything out. If it feels right, you can let the head be heavy for just a moment. Give a soft shake in the head. No tension needed there. And of course, we'll do the other side. So we'll create length in the spine again. Both hands are equally strong, whether you're on your on your hands or on your fists. Curl the left toes in, slide the foot backwards, and then first push. Actively pushing the heel away. Use your hands to create even more stretch in that calf. Take a nice long inhale here. Exhaling, shifting the weight more towards your hands, and then slide that foot, passing the right leg, coming all the way to the other side of your yoga mat. Activation in the belly as you peek over your shoulder. And then noticing again the compression on the right side of your body this time and the openness you've created on the left side. Inhale deeply into the left side. Exhaling everything out. Bringing that foot back to the back end of your mat first, and then slowly bringing it all the way to the outside, planting that foot firmly, toes point forward, first finding that strength in your belly again, and we'll roll up little by little, allow the hands to follow. Notice how it feels on this side, if this hip feels like it has more space or less. It's always different, isn't it? And then taking just a moment to soften the wrists again, maybe give a little shake, creating that little bit of activation here. Lovely. Inhaling, bringing the hands forward and all the way up, taking a nice deep inhale here as you reach just a little bit higher. Exhaling, left hand goes onto your outstretched leg. Reach up and over. Taking a nice stretch here, you decide how far you go. Every day will be different. Second time you do it will be different even. Just remember to keep space between the arm and the head to soften your face. And maybe even close your eyes as you take one more deep breath in here. Exhaling everything out. <sighs> Inhaling, both hands come up. And then we slowly make our way to the other side. Take your time to carefully place that hand directly underneath your shoulder. And then reach the other hand up. Just noticing the shift in your body. Keep the belly engaged. Take a nice deep inhale here. Exhale everything out. If it feels right, use your next inhale to lift the foot. Flex that foot, keeping all the muscles active. Nice, slow inhale here. Take your time. Exhaling, planting the foot down. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Taking another inhale, coming with your hands out, stretch up to center, and then slowly over to the other side again, reaching up and over. This time, really allowing those lower ribs to come up towards the ceiling as we open the heart space, taking another deep inhale. Exhaling, coming back to center, and then one more time to the other side. Plant your hand firmly, activate the belly, reach actively up with that left arm. Inhaling deeply, exhaling everything out. If it feels right, you lift your foot. Keep activating, keep breathing. Don't forget to breathe. And then one more last breath here. Inhaling deeply, exhaling, planting the foot. Use your core as you come up. Exhaling, soften your shoulders down. Lovely, hands come up. Just one more big inhale here. Exhaling, bringing the hands forward and down. Slide that foot all the way back to the back. And then from there, bring the knee back onto the ground. Knees come wider, as wide as your yoga mat. Toes come to touch. Tops of the feet are down. Before you lower your whole body, first just send the hips. Send the sitting bones back towards your heels. And then just like we used our hands to push ourselves into that calf stretch with one leg going back. Take a moment here to really use your hands to push yourself into a nice, soft belly and back. And then slowly, you're going to allow the hands to come wider and the forehead to rest. Now, if this is not an option for your head to reach the ground, stack the hands on top of each other or maybe the fists. Or if you brought 
a pillow. We use that. And whatever version of child's pose you, cho you choose, allow the body to soften. Give it time. Don't expect instant relaxation. But simply invite the body to soften with every exhale you make. If the head is resting on the ground, you might want to gently rock the forehead left and right. And then bring the palms of the hands together. Bring them over the back of your head. Also called shark, shark fin namaste. Take a nice, slow inhale here. Allow the body to expand as you breathe in. Exhale gently out. Thank you for your time. If you like, you can repeat this sequence a few times. But if this is all you have time for, just appreciate the difference in your body that you're feeling right now. I hope to see you next week. Namaste.